Hey everyone, and welcome to the finale of My Sims Agents. In the last episode, we got here to the jungle and started exploring. And in this episode, we're gonna finish it up and check out my cell phone. But I should let you know, this is gonna be a two-part finale because this episode is a little over 40 minutes long and my editing software has trouble uploading stuff if it's over 40 minutes. Believe me, I tried. That's why I had to split that episode of Okami Blind and also... I just split that most recent episode of Super Paper Mario. Actually, not mo most recent, depending on when this is uploaded, but you get my point. Anyway, let's talk to Buddy right here. Have you seen any spare parts lying around? Is that broken? Why are next to the table? Perfect. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've last... Do I have a... Yeah, I didn't lose the laptop battery, but anyway. It's been some time since I recorded the commentary for episode 13, so I'm not exactly remembering what, what I did last. This ornate cup was in the Sun Shrine. Might fit in one of the pestles, but we need to fill up pure water first. Any day where I'll find some. Mm -hmm. I thought it some kind of water pipe around here. Yeah, but we need spare parts for it. Mm -hmm. Add stereo. Great idea. And can't talk to can't talk to her. Yeah. And take the spare parts out of this wheel. And we are just one shy. And there goes my cell phone. Dr. F. <laughs> I love Dr. F. Okay. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Dang. Dang. Post commentary is so hard to keep up, let me tell you. Especially when I'm going to have to keep it up for 40 minutes. But if this cuts abruptly, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to do it around the 20 minute mark. Probably. I'll figure it out. Ooh, yes. And here's the laptop battery. Uh. Should we get that laptop working? Here we go. And yeah. climb down this rope. Okay. And we go over here. Put the, huh? And I'll check my cell phone in a sec after we <laughs> after we ch yeah, the battery's fully charged. What luck. Okay. Files on his laptop are encrypted. We'll see for how long. After we check Wolfa, it's a picture of Wolfa's cell phone. <laughs> yeah, please don't bring back fleas, Wolfa. <laughs> okay. Let's see how long these files stay encrypted. Wow. Wow, I suck. I really wish I didn't, didn't lose the live commentary, believe me, I do. Oh, oh, dang it. Careful, careful, come on. Five, four, three, two sec- 1.8 seconds to spare! So, Skullfinder is a greedy treasure hunter, passing himself off as a respectable museum curator. Even though he actually is a museum curator in the original My Sims, but that's beside the point. And now, I don't remember exactly what I'm doing. And there goes my cell phone. And... Deep dish veggie. <laughs> I don't even like deep veggie pizza. I tried to remember what I was doing, I think. It's been so long. I think I recorded this back in, like, last August, something like that. So many things kept me from recording this, let me tell you. Like, school, specifically. And then other stuff I wanted to work on, but nevertheless, this is getting done, and I won't have to worry about it. And now we go up to Mr. Vincent Skullfinder. Huh. Press and come to agreement, Skullfinder. I do, eh? Like. We can find me the golden out. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why I skipped this text. Huh. Here's your. Uh, <laughs> none of you. I mean, none of your business! Huh. Here's your treasure. Ah, the sun treasure. Alright, help us out to the lame moon shrine. Foolish deal maker. Okay, now we can see what's inside the moon shrine. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, moon man was really intricate in detail. The shrine must have been important. Yeah, I mean, look at this place. It's so cool. Huh? Can't quite jump to the top of the stone. Is there huh. rocks or something? Mm. Yeah, right there. Now, what's up here? Treasure! I love finding treasure. New soundtrack. Nice. But you probably won't see it because I'm not going to show the post game. I was school doesn't belong to anyone I knew. Unless it's more cubist, then I'll, then I'll be very happy. So I'm test Alright. Let's, let's repair the lock mechanism. Give me a second. Why there's a light thing in this ancient mechanical lock mechanism is anyone's guess, but eh, what can you do? Yeah, but, okay, that goes there. Yeah, this is actually a pretty simple one. I think. But still, I'm 
Come to think of it, I know we have to do a repair job for the water pump in a, in a little bit, and I remember that one in particular being a nuisance. So this may actually not end up being a two-parter because of how long that's going to take. And by the way, you don't even need one of those gear belts because I'm already done! Yay! <clears throat> okay, what do we got? A, a horn. I just need to find someone to play this. I think Buddy used to play the horn. I actually play clarinet. I've, it's been a long time since I've actually played clarinet because... Uh, what's in the sarcophagus? <laughs> I want to know what's in the sarcophagus. An agent's outfit. Okay. Now let's... Extract part from the sarcophagus because why not? Okay, now we can fix the water pump. And I remember that one being a nuisance, I think. It's either that one or a different one I'm, I'm remembering. We'll find out. And there's my cell phone. Looks like there's no evidence. Oh well. Huh. Buddy, do you know how to play the horn? Do I ever? I used to play horn in a marching band. That's where I learned how to salute. Oh, great, they need your help. Can you take this horn and play it on the pedestal? Yes, Badoo. I love to. Here I go. You don't actually play it until I get over there, buddy. Oh dear. Okay, now we can activate the wind pedestal. So we just need the water. Okay, I think I may be wrong here. I think Buddy's actually going to beat us there somehow. I think. Let's see. Okay, we'll never know. <laughs> but now we have to go up here and fix the water pump, and I- Huh? There's Pinky! <laughs> I love her obsession with blue, it's hilarious. Oh, this one! I think I remember this one, I think I remember it being a nuisance. We'll see. If this ends up being too long, I will cut, don't worry. So, yeah. I really- would give updates at this point, but the, well, I guess I could talk talk about the status of my group LPs. Yes, I said LPs. Yeah, I'm recording. As you know, I'm doing Castle Crashers with the Revived Angels with and Wolf and Renegade, and that's going fine. We have uh, seven episodes recorded. Yeah, we just recorded episode seven last night, and I'm also doing a LP of. Battle Block Theater with Soul King, and I'm doing that one completely blind, and that's all, and that's all, and I'm having a good time with that, believe me. And I'm trying to do something. Yeah, I'll just shut up for a little bit and see how long this takes me. So, yeah, like I said, this one is a pain in the rear. I'll see you guys in a bit. And there we go. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. So, I guess this actually will be a one-part finale instead of a two-part, and now we have a forensics puzzle! And... let's see if I remember this one... Oh, this one isn't too bad, I don't think. Like, it's not as bad as the one at the boardwalk. You, you guys remember that one. Like, this one I think is actually kind of simple. And as soon as I say that, I run into issues. I did not want to hit that! I hate that! I hate how I constantly hit that. So, going to plan B... <coughs> So, that was... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'm making another cut. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, that didn't take long. <laughs> Alright then, it's... Beautiful. The water's completely pure. Eric, you have to bring me some! That is so Roxy right there. <coughs> Alright then, so we have the water, we have the ornate cup, we've got the horn, we've got the torch. Speaking of the horn, the wind pedestal has been activated! Now we just give this... Hold this cup and stand on the pedestal and don't spill it. You got it, Arrow. Okay. Oh, I wanted to push that. Okay, that's the water pedestal. Now we just need to activate the earth pedestal. So we need to head this way and find Magellan. I like the name Magellan. And look at this. The Gaia tree. It is so cool. Right? Am I right? And there's like... 
one thing I really like about this area, the choice of music. Like, just the environmental sounds. It's a brilliant idea. And you gotta do a little bit of F space right here. Pretty simple, not too hard. And my phone's going off. If I, I'm glad my phone, my actual phone isn't going off when I'm doing this recording. If my brother took this out to call me right now, I'd kill him. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Rotate. Uh, this will just take me a sec. This is so much. This is not hard. I swear to God, this is not hard. It's just the the pointer controls are just a smidge finicky on this. That's all it is. I think that should work. Or not. Like I said, it's been months since I recorded this, so I don't exactly remember what I did. Um. Oh, I think I had it. Yeah, that should work. That big one was, comple was completely pointless, so you get up here, and <clears throat> also keep your eyes peeled on this place. <coughs> Excuse me. Or 37 feet as well, my phone was in my pocket. <laughs> oh man, uh, Travis, that's the reason I love you. Oh yeah, platform is a little on the tight side here, so be careful and keep your eyes peeled. There are quite, there are a couple of treasure chests oh. in this area. So balance, careful, oh. careful, careful, oh. and Ooh. made it. Okay, climb up this here vine, and there's my phone. Oh man, can you hear that? The music. It's the, like the music is so mystical. Like I can lose myself in this music. It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights, by the way. It's, and that treasure chest over there, across here, it's a treasure chest across the vine, and also right over there. I don't, I don't think I got the treasure chest on my left. Because I think I'm supposed to drop down from a high place to get it, but I don't remember if I did or not. We'll see. Like, I actually haven't... Yeah, this was... Actually, wait. This was recorded in June. I've had this up on, on me for almost a year now. Because I thought I have a consistent update schedule. Seriously. <coughs> College just ruined my update schedule. Like, I could not update my LPs, and it just pains me. The reason my Okami Blind LP is on hold is also because I've run into technical issues with a later episode that I cannot fix. Well, I'm trying my hardest to fix it, but I'm just running into snags. <laughs> and mission accomplished! Yes! So, you'll not, you won't actually see the rewards for that mission because... Yeah, it's... This is the finale. <laughs> Here we go! Careful, careful, and check it out, lemurs! Oh, it's so up in the air. This tree's huge. What's up here? A <laughs> lemur on a little throne. It's so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. Check it out. He's wearing a medallion. <coughs> lemurs, Jalen, maybe you can help me with the pencil. You must be Magellan. You're adorable. Oh, cute, kid. Can you help me, please? Thanks, friend. I need you, Magellan, to activate the Earth Pastel. Can you help me, Magellan? <laughs> look, they're so cute. I don't know why I look sad here. <coughs> okay, he's taking off towards the pastel, so let's go over there. And I'm just going to ignore the treasure chest altogether. And choice barbecue. I would so go to a barbecue on the beach, like. Like, my ch that's my childhood right there. I remember m the days of my childhood where, during the summer, I'd be at the beach, barbecuing, like, with my f like with my family, with my grandfather. Oh, man, those were the days. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, wait, oh, wait, there's... Oh, I think I... I think this is the way to charge this. By the way, sleeping lemur over there, in case you missed it. Okay, I guess not. So I said, screw it. <clears throat> and push this, and all four medallions, guys, all four pedestals have been activated. And now, watch this. 
Buddy, you can stop playing now. And with that, the way into the temple has been opened. Let's go on in. Aztec clothing! New dispatch missions that you won't see. Excuse me. I had Florny Gert. Oh, Mr. TV Repairman, I'm so glad you arrived. It's new. I think. And let me show you to the. What the? Who stole all the squirrels? They were almost right. I've got to get to the periscope right away. The curse wants to infiltrate the temple using stealth submarines. Yeah, this guy's clearly not right in the head. <clears throat> Intruders, I am King Mike, guardian of the temple. You will never have the treasure. <gasps> treasure? Do you mean the crown? Oh, you're just a figure of my imagination. That's nice. But you'll still never get my treasure. Bwaha! Who was that old guy? I think he's got the crown. You guys keep searching around here. I'm going after him. Okay, there's nothing down here. That was pointless. Also, I really, really like the design of this temple. You'll see what I mean later. <laughs> hot chocolate. I like a good cup of hot chocolate. Okay, but you'll see what I mean. Right here, we have the fire room. What's that that mic guy? The puzzles in here get crazy creative. Like, you'll see what I mean in just a sec. Use F space, create ourselves a bridge. Or not, just a staircase. I thought we'd be across the lava, never mind. Okay. The dragon head mechanism is neat, but I can't pass through here while spewing on fire. I want symbol of dragon's flame. Okay, watch this. Light goes into the thing, and it beats the dragon, sort of. But still, this puzzle is very, very creative. Like here, you have to move out these blocks, and then you can, then you can get under the flame. You see what I mean? This is just really, really creative. I love it. This is my, this is probably my favorite part of the game. Now use the mirror. Now here's where it gets a little bit trickier. You have to find the right lights so you can get through different areas. So I move the mirror out, and not out of the way. So these two go off, so I can get to this area. Move the light source um, onto this block. Uh, no, no, no! I had the right idea. I just gotta. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I had the right idea. I move move the block onto here so the light can shine directly in. And and then you go back and Roger. Okay, <coughs> so that goes there. And voila! But still, you see what I mean? This is really, really nice. I love this. Now this part, this right here can get tricky. You have to really, really use your noodle right here. So let's see what that, that did, nothing. Okay. And that did something, but not quite the one I want. <clears throat> this part of the puzzle is a little bit of trial and error. You have to figure out which light is the right one. And it was apparently that one. So, yeah, if you're playing along, you now know what the right one is. And mission accomplished! Nice! <clears throat> okay, wind room. I love this. I love the music in this area, and this is just a really cool looking place. It's not the clan. They yeah, tracked down the strange man. But you're noticing something? We had a fire room, we had a wind room. You can call it the, the first room of this temple the Earth Room. You see what they did? That is creative. <gasps> Yikes, a bottomless pit. I didn't know there were real bottomless pits. Yeah, that's foreboding, ain't it? Just, like, seriously, part of. I wish I could just kick a rock down there and see how long it would take for a sound to be made, if a sound would be made at all. Like, 
If a sound wasn't made, I would be very, very up. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Unnerved. There's the word. Oh, oh careful, careful. Yeah, it's. Keep your balance is a bit trickier in here because this is the wind room. There's wind blowing. See? Ooh. Oh. Careful, careful, and <laughs> made it. Yes. Okay. Careful, careful. I do not want to fall into the po to the supposed bottomless pit. Come on. Made it. Yes. Let me tell you, this gets treacherous very quickly. Ouch. Well, this landed on my bottom, but there's two Ooh, treasure chests here. Look at this. Let's see. What do we get? What do we get? We get a uh, paranormal floor, carnivorous plant, sarcophagus. Cool. And in here. A new trophy, Magellan figurine. I will so want a Magellan figurine. I mean, it's so cute. <laughs> Okay. Look, careful, careful, and this is a bad time for my phone to go off. Careful, careful. Come on. Stay up. Like, can you imagine actually doing this in real life? I don't. My nerve. I don't know if I'd be able to do this. I think my nerves would give out on me before I finish this. And I'm usually a very tenacious guy. Okay. Everyone loves food, right? Yep, my brother really likes food. <laughs> I can already tell what my brother's gonna put in the comment section. <laughs> oh boy. That's my brother. Hey, you know how it goes. Si siblings, you love them, but you have to drive them nuts. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're at the home stretch. I think that was the last balancing thing. Okay, bit of platforming here. Just watch your shadow and you should be fine. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a balancing thing over there that's completely optional, but there's treasure over there. Which I'm going to now get. Careful, careful, come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Come on, almost there, almost there. Almost there. And made it, yes. What's in the treasure chest? King Mike figurine. Cool. Okay, now let's make it back over there. Come on. Make it. Make it. The wind is trying to blow me off. But I am Arrow Dragon. I will not let the wind blow me off. Wind is my element. Aha! Take that! This sign reads, Leap of Faith. Am I supposed to jump from here? Oh, you know how it goes. Geronimo! Oh. Well, at least I landed on the bottom. Okay, come on, the door's locked. Let's hope the techno tool survived the fall, and yep, it did. Now, let's see how long it takes me to fix this one. Let's see. Yep, it'll, it just takes me a second and then I figure it out. Because, like I said, I did a lot of these kinds of puzzles when I was a kid. <laughs> but that one type is the most complicated one we've seen thus far. Spike, finally, I tracked him down. Like, <laughs> I need your help finding what's hidden in this temple. Hello, my fake friend. You're here for the secret treasure, then. A secret treasure? Yes, that's exactly what I'm here for. That's what all the gears from Mr. Wheelman over here. You can't get to the treasure without those. Okay. I really need to get the wheel working. Maybe you find more friends. We're pretty great. I don't lose more. Looks lonely here, you know? Okay, you need to gather some new friends. And, and you can do a seance here. Nice little throw to the original My Sims where you could do a seance with spooky friends. But you got, like, got a coconut. It's like a face. Anyway, my brother tells me this might be a reference to the movie Castaway. And honestly, I'd believe him. <laughs> That's a, that is a very long drop. 
<laughs> I'm gonna find the nightmare crown, which means I have to waste time splashing in the ocean, or not the ocean, the water. And another coconut. Let's see, these are good friends for him. I found you some new friends. New friends? Okay, I love this. I love this. Here we go. Toby Boo. Who is Nerf? Nerf. I ask you for new friends and you bring me these? Well, I. I'm more like family. <laughs> there is so much wrong with that. Yeah. I don't know how to thank you enough, Figment. Can I get the parts of the water wheel now? Well, I don't know if Lois would like that very much. Lois? I better ask Ronaldo for instead. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you can have the parts. And we are on the home stretch right now. No, Louis, don't lose your temper. We were just. Oh boy. Okay, let's get. Let's fix the wheel. This, I believe, is not as bad as the water pump. Like, this doesn't look that bad, does it? But okay, large gear goes there. Yeah, compared to, compared to the water wheel, this is perfectly manageable. Okay, those go there. I probably made a mistake right there. I'll probably fix it. Short gear belt goes there. Long gear belt goes there. A couple of gears go there and there. And almost done. And I'm gonna I'm just put a gear belt on the big gear. Or not. <laughs> I probably realized I'm that was what I was supposed to do or something. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of different ways you can do this puzzle. Well, the one I'm doing here is just one of the ways. Put that gear belt there. We are almost done with this. Gear belt there. Gear belt there. And two gears there. And we are done! That one wasn't that bad. And... Pushing this wheel, we make this thing rise up. And now we can get the treasure chest. Which is over the bridge. And now we just gotta do one more unlocking puzzle and pick the lock. This is actually a pretty simple one. Oh, for me anyway. Just need a sec. Yeah, these puzzles, I just take a second, analyze, and voila, we are done. What's not sits on the chest? It's it's a rock. Seriously, that's what we worked all this way for. A rock. A strange no crown here, just a small stone object. Bravo, Figment, you've passed all my tests. The object you is the key to the Nightmare Crown. It fits in the statue in the Temple Grotto. And the Nightmare Crown is back in the Grotto all along. Yes, Figment, but you wouldn't be it's just imaginary. I must return to the Grotto immediately. Okay, games are over now, Figment. I command you to return to my imagination. Even illusions should not disturb the crown. Please. Sorry, Mike. I know this is hard for you to understand, but I'm getting that crown. Check it out! It's the Nightmare Crown! It's Nard. It's not careful, Figment. There's nothing good that'll ever come from possessing the crown of nightmares. I have to keep the crown safe. Come on, buddy. Let's go tell Evelyn we finally have it. Did you say Evelyn? Arrow, are you in here? I thought I heard your voice from outside. I'm right here, Evelyn. We found it. You got the crown? Yeah, we finally beat Morcubus. Okay, I question why I'm putting the Fortunite in the crown. That is just spelling bad news. Now, where can we put the crown so it's truly safe? 
<laughs> Evie, yeah, is that Frog. you? Oh. What? <laughs> Frog says. Evie, the Levy, is it really you? Gabby. Who are you? Oh. Damn, oh. you're alive! <laughs> yep. Uh, it is you, Evie. Look at you. This is the best solution I've had in years. Glarney Larp. You're not hallucinating. This is real. Mm -hmm. And oh, you're in honestly? danger. Stoopy's Don't give us a step to the crown, Mike. We've managed to stay one step ahead of him so far, but Evelyn's right. It, yeah. We need to get the crown out of his reach. Dad, are you okay? Uh, Daddy? Oh, Evie, this is really happening. Mm. You're real. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. Very sweet. It's been so long since I've seen real people. I, I got confused. I'm sorry. I missed you so much. Maybe yeah. I'm so sorry. I'll try to protect you from all this. Mike, Evelyn, I don't want to interrupt, but we really need to leave. Nancy, do you have a ride back to our headquarters? Are you kidding? There's still so much to explore here. I gotta stay here until I'm back to every room of this temple. Good luck then, Lindsay. Thanks for your help. Let's go, everyone. What? Yep. No. Agent Arrow, perfect timing. Uh, Ezra, collect my crown, please. See, this is why I question why I put the Fortnite in the crown to begin with. How about that? A perfect fit. How did you find us, Morcubus? I got a little help from Evelyn Gray. What? That's not true. Oh, my knees, little girl. All those hours spent studying your father's journal. All those little clues you dug up. And you never found that tracking device we put in it? You know what I mean? Yes, we've been following you all along. I'll admit, you were doing a better job tracking down the Nightmare Crown than we were. Funny, I decided to let you do all the work. I mean, Mooba, I can't believe you guys fell for that one. You were really trying to establish the map. You wanted us to do it. Please, do you really think you can use that drive mini stuff? I'm such a fool. I have the more you must write to the crown. There's no way we could have known, Evelyn. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is your fault, sweetheart. It's his! Morgan, how dare you drag my daughter into this? Oh my goodness, Michael, is that you? These years have not been kind, but... Give my crown back, Morcubus. <laughs> what is this, my birthday? You really been squatting this disgusting temple all these years? You threw away a life with your family only to see your crown wind up on my head? I hate this guy, just saying. And never would have happened if you were so determined to find the Nightmare Crown. I never wanted the crown, I just wanted to find my father. Well, you can't have him either. I'm going to activate the crown, there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> Arrow, buddy, I shouldn't have dragged you into this. Forgive me. Evelyn, what are you doing? Oh, yes! Oh, Where'd she go? She and Morgan got trapped in the realm of nightmares. How do we get her back? I don't think we can. Morgan has activated the crown. He's the only one who can open the portal again. He's trapped on the other side. Oh, Rock Gobsy, Eba Doo, Blanky Isto, Mimsy Nerpidi. Oh, oh, Gorby the Noob. Evelyn. Little yeah. Levy, I only wanted to protect you. And look oh, what happened. I should have been yeah, there for so you. Yeah. Why'd you do that, pal? I guess it was the only way to stop Morcubus, buddy. Yeah. What are we supposed to do? Yeah. There's nothing we can do. She's gone. You should have destroyed that infernal crown years ago. <laughs> I'm not giving up on Evelyn yet. We don't know exactly how the Nightmare Crown works, but now that it's safe from Morcubus, we can take time to study it. We still have a lot of ages to dispatch and a lot of people who need our help. 
So our guys keep their eyes open during the missions. Maybe we can find something to help us. Yeah, maybe. Mike, as long as there's even a tiny chance we can save Evelyn, we should look for it. Can't promise anything, but maybe someday we'll figure out a way to bring her home. If you can help us. You're right, Arrow. I can't just sit around feeling sorry for myself. I'm with you, even if it takes the rest of my life. Me too. Alright then, let's head back to HQ. And with that, My Sims Agents is now completed. Oh my god. I was at this for like nine months. I, I really wanted to do more editing on this, but just so many things came up. I was working on three LPs at once. And I just wanted to get this last ep episode recorded so I don't have to worry about it. That way over the summer, I'm only going to have Okami Blind and my surprise LP, which I'm still not going to reveal. But anyway... I really like this game. I find it a really, really underrated game. Like, the entire series as a whole. Like, the puzzles are creative, the characters are great, the presentation is nice, and while the game is a little bit short, it's still tons of fun to replay. I really recommend checking it out. But anyway, I should probably go into a few details while the credits are rolling. And if you manage to complete all the dispatch missions, you will get a special one, and at the end of that dispatch mission, you'll get the choice of either saving Morcubus and Evelyn, or leaving them both in the Nightmare Realm. Both have positive and negative repercussions. And also, after completing this, you will get Magellan, Mike, and Lindsay, and Skullfinder as recruitable agents. But that's not something I'm going to be showing. So I'm just going to let the credits roll with this pretty awesome music. So until next time, this is Aerodragon, signing out.